good day. As you can see, it's rather a murky day, fog, and pretty damp. There's two magpies over there on that roof, so one for sorry, two for joy, that's good. But I've got a desk day today and I think it's uh, just as well because it looks as though it's going to rain later on today. However, I didn't get down to the plot and strim the top area by the polytunnel and in front of the sheds yesterday. So I don't think I'll be doing that for a few days with this being so damp this morning and wet weather due later on today. We've got another roof, look over there, more extensions being done over there, sort of twice as big as the one next to us, but uh, yeah, that's okay, at least it's distant, but I can still hear it when I'm working and I've got my window open, not this window, I have that little window open normally. But yeah, so um, I do want to show you something. So I'm just going to pop downstairs and show it to you. So yesterday, Richard took a photo of this Christmas cactus or Thanksgiving cactus and posted it on PV and also on Facebook and Instagram, etc. And somebody said, I think it was on Instagram, that they have a wonderful sort of cream or apricot one. And it reminded me as I was walking this morning to the shop to Lidl that dad used to have an apricot one. And I thought, oh, it would be lovely to have an apricot one. And I get to Lidl and look at this. I think it's apricot. It may be a very pale pink or it may be like a pinky white but I think it may be apricot but anyway it was less than two pounds and I was feeling a tad melancholy when I was thinking about dad and the Christmas cactuses so I decided to treat myself so that is what I have done today so yeah for less than two quid, the one on the right has put a smile on my face and the one on the left has put a smile on my face for quite a while. Right, I'm going to leave it there and get back to my desk. I will see you again down at the plot, I would have thought, very soon. Bye. Good day. No, the back of my plot isn't another way onto our site. Richard said that his work had some cardboard, a couple of cardboard boxes available and asked me whether I wanted them yesterday. So I popped over this morning and as his work borders our fence line, I just pop these over the fence at the back of where I know my plot is and pick them up. So that was good. And they are going to be going from here onto here. You might be able to see there's a little fox action that has gone on here, here and over here. I'm just going to rake it a little more there's a bit of a lot of soil here. Maybe that's been kicked up another day. I'm just going to level it off a little bit and then put the cardboard down. So I'm going to get on and do that. And if there's any cardboard left, I did actually find... No, I didn't find. We have at home two other boxes. So they... I'm going to spin you around this way. Will be going under that tarpaulin. So I'll just be lifting some of it up, you know, the corner of it up, 
putting the cardboard down and that's the process that I'm doing at the moment. So I'm putting cardboard underneath this tarpaulin, this weed membrane, bit by bit as I find it. And it really is bit by bit as I find it because even this week, which again was our recycling Monday, there was hardly any cardboard around on the streets. Yeah, anyway. I'm going to sort this bed first. There we are, job done. Yeah, I have actually used all that cardboard on that bed. I thought it was best to put a double layer down. And as you can see, I've weighted it down and I've used metal lawn edging that I picked up a couple of years ago from, uh, from FreeCycle, I think it was, or, or Trash Nothing, one of those free sites. I think I got about Oh, 10 or more meters of it which was really really good I'm not sure if the eagle-eyed of you may have spotted but I have new boots these are rigger boots whilst we were with Lord and Lady Tittington Smythe in Wales Lord Tittington Smythe suggested that I get rigger boots and I found these, these are about 2750 I think, including delivery, and it's my first time wearing them today. But I have to say already, the support in the arch area here, in fact across the foot, but particularly in the arch area, is really, really good. So yeah, they are waterproof, they are leather. So the sole's not leather, but the top is leather. And I hope that they will suit me well. We shall see over the coming weeks. You'll remember that I had a couple of pairs of walking boots from oh, Mountain Warehouse. And they just wore through really quickly for me. They, they came apart at the seams, literally. And they were just fantastic on customer service and replaced the first pair with a second pair and gave me a full refund on the second pair when they went through as well. So I think it was just a defect in the manufacturing and I was the unlucky person. But these are what I have for about £8.50 more. These are the boots I have and yeah, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Today was supposed to be chucking it down with rain all day and particularly heavy rain at points. 
and even though it was heavy this morning around eight o'clock by nine o'clock you could see blue skies and yeah it's turning into an absolutely lovely day there is work I need to do at my desk so I am going to go back to my desk now and for a week at the plot I will see you another day but I think if this weather does hold out I will be down later to do a little bit more weeding and some brassica cares because there are some leaves on brassicas that I see I missed when I did the job last time and we're going to have another stew this evening and I think I would like to have some of the cross of the Nero di Toscana and Portuguese cabbage which is over here in that stew this evening or maybe even as a side dish this evening I'll see how it goes but yeah I'm just gonna sit here for a moment maybe five minutes and savour the sun, the sky, the sounds and the scents of the allotment and I think there has been a fox about because I can scent a fox if you see what I mean. See you very soon. Bye. Good day. I just came down to get some brassica leaves. So that's the Portuguese cabbage that was crossed with the Nero di Toscana. And it really is quite a fine plant and quite a fine leaf, I have to say. So I made a lovely stew yesterday and I just fancied some greenery with it. We did. Um, we did or I did put red cabbage into the stew so there's there's already brassicas in there but I just fancied we're going to have leftovers this evening and I just fancied a side of greenery brassicas so um yeah that's what we're having and I thought as I was down here I would show you this amazing sky I am looking up at it I'm not looking sort of straight at it. I'm looking up at it. And in fact, just before I started filming, there was a plane coming in. I think it may have been Air Canada. And it was making a really, really odd sound. So, um, yeah, really odd sound. But I didn't get it on camera, so never mind. Oh, it is cold. It is cold. I had to come down anyway because I wanted to feed the Cedrics and the Cedric Cheetahs. So they have had carrot and celery and egg box as their supper for the coming weeks. And they all seem to be quite happy in there. Though with this colder weather, I'm thinking maybe I need to bubble wrap the whole bin. I think I will do that. But look at those clouds scuddering along, the dark clouds scuddering along, yet the quiet white and cream clouds are just basking in the last sunlight. It is rather lovely and the sky is blue, but yeah, it's getting darker. So I'm going to go home and I'll see you soon for another segment of A Week at the Plot. Bye.
good day. Just filled up the watering can, so I need to water the poly. And then I saw these strawberries on the sharing table. So I'm going to come back in a moment and get some of these because ours have really come to the end of their life in, in some of our tubs. So yeah, obviously I have no idea what variety they are, but that doesn't matter too much. As you can see, I've got my strimmer out. I brought the battery down because I think another strim is already due. But first of all, these need a little watering. And also on the bench. Apparently these have been on the sharing table for a good few days. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is pot them all up. But what I'm going to do is you might be able to see here, there's a bit of oxalis there, a bit of clover. That's, that's what it is. So I'm going to take these, these are virtually bare root, but I'm going to take them right back to bare root and give them a really good wash. Um, to get all the soil and any anything that isn't strawberry root off there. So that's what I'm going to do and then just pop them off. I've got spare, spare um, compost and then we can pass them on to other people as and when. These have all had a real good wash now and I just thought I'd show you this was a I reckon this was the original plant here which sent out a leader which rooted and another leader came off that one so I think that might be last year's this a couple of years ago and this one this year but the best thing to do this one may not produce anymore but clearly it's producing a leader so I am going to pot it up but you just snip it there, snip it here, and then that can go in the compost. Snip that there and that there, and then you've got three plants. Two which are young, and one which is quite a bit older. Some of these have got quite extensive roots on them, and I'd prefer something like that. So what I'm going to do, you can see this fresh root coming in, and you see there that fresh root there's quite a few of them there's another one there I'm going to snip that right back take off a lot of that root and maybe just leave three quarters of an inch of root below and then it's going to root from up here again you might be able to see fresh roots coming up here yeah that sort of Ideal. I'm going to snip that one, I think, just a little bit as well. Not sure if you could see what I was talking about then, but hopefully you can. Fresh root up here, so I'm going to snip this long root down to about three quarters of an inch, an inch below, and then get rid of that. That can go into the compost. Right, it's quite a few to do. I'm going to get on and do that and what I've decided is I'm going to pop them up individually because what I don't want if somebody else doesn't want them here we can then sell them at the Hamwell Carnival next year as strawberry plants so yeah so if they're not good for me or they're not good for somebody else here then they can make some money for the association so you can see that or hopefully see that they've all had a good trim there's some which has still got a good bit of root, um, but it's all been trimmed back. And I've got a pot here with compost in. Let's just take that one. I'm just going to sort of nestle it in. And then gently, but firmly, push down. So you can see that the, the crown is still 
above the soil and I'm going to do that with all of them obviously and then let this settle let the rain fall on them over the coming weeks and then I'll see whether I need to top up with another maybe half inch inch of compost once these have settled down so now I'm going to get on now I've done one there's 23 more to do so there we are they've all been potted up now so that's 24 plants which is really great as I say some will do for us some will do for other people here and what is left over should there be any left over they can be sold at the Hamwell Carnival next year and you know it's really a good time to start thinking about propagating whether that be your strawberries like this that somebody has obviously gone through all their strawberries and decided how many they need and and redone their strawberry bed possibly or whether you're looking at gooseberries or black currants or jostaberries or red currants or white currants you know now's a, a good time to start thinking about what you want for next year and whether cuttings can be taken so yeah bear that in mind we're getting obviously quite close now into the colder days i think it went down to about four degrees overnight last night no frost down here but i know we've had frost in other parts of the uk last night but none here yet but yeah there we are another job done and a job that i hadn't expected and of course that is that is a week at the plot i mean maybe i should do a separate segment not segment a separate video about this because a week at the plot is very much about what i do on the plot each week and some people say to me is it planned and it's largely not planned you know i have notes of what i need to get done but today i was going to be doing some strimming that hasn't happened i saw the strawberries on the sharing bench and the only reason i saw those is because i needed to water the poly tunnel so i needed to go to our communal water butts on our communal shed to fill the watering can as i was coming back i saw those strawberries and thought yeah you know what i can do something with those and i'm really pleased that i did and as i say bit for us bit for other people bit for the allotment coffers possibly right i am actually going to leave it there for this week's a week at the plot it certainly wasn't the week at the plot i was expecting and i'm not sure what next week will bring either i hope it's going to bring some movement in growth in the garlic and the broad beans because I haven't seen anything there yet. But there's time. There's plenty of time for them. Though I do want them to get up because they're, they're quite late going in the ground. Anyway, any questions that you've got, please do leave them below. Any comments, please put them below. And I will see you again next week for further segments of A Week at the Plot on Planet Vegetaria. Or I will see you for the full upload of A Week at the Plot on YouTube. See you soon. Bye.